Hello internet world, welcome to my review of the Uperfect Uplays C2. This is a 120Hz portable gaming monitor. Now this was very kindly sent to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I just want to share with you my experience of using this really awesome portable monitor so that you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is from Uperfect. It's their Uplays C2. Now this is a 16 inch QHD portable monitor with a 2560 by 1600 resolution and a 120 Hertz refresh rate. It's especially suitable for things like using as a secondary monitor to your laptop, but also for gaming on things like the PS4, PS5, uh, Nintendo Switch, also the Xbox and other gaming devices. So I can't wait to show you this a little bit closer before I sort of unveil the monitor. Let's take a quick look at what else you get inside the box. Now I'm in the UK, so I've got a UK USB-C power plug or power adapter. Uh, if you're in another country, you will get a country specific adapter inside your box. I also got this, which is just like a quick start guide. It's got some more details about the monitor, including the actual monitor number, which is the M160C01. It's an IPS panel, 16 inches, 1610 aspect ratio. I've already mentioned some of these other specs already. Contrast ratio, very good 1200 to one, and a 500 CDM uh, brightness as well, 100% sRGB accuracy, and it's a 10 bit panel. So very useful information there. We also get some cables. You get two USB-C to USB-C cables. I'll be using my own cable during this video just for ease. And you also get an HDMI cable as well. And then the monitor comes wrapped in this really nice case. And it's the same on the back and the front. This helps with standing up in various positions. You can see we've got some folds already in the case here. And this just helps you stand it up uh, and get it at a good angle for using. Now, while this cover's still on, I will show you just the sides. So on this side here, we've got what looks like a little speaker. We've also got two USB-Cs. Now I've been using it just with the one USB-C with my MacBook Pro providing power to the monitor and also the display and you can use a second USB-C in case you need perhaps some extra power sent to the monitor. Then we can also, if you're not doing a, like a one cable connection, we can power the monitor with this, with the power adapter, using one of the USB-C inputs and then use the HDMI for the display signal. And then at this end here, we've got another speaker, little push button for the menu, menu rocker for navigating through the on-screen display and also a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. Now let's open this up. So you can see when we open it up, we've got this nice matte display. I'm gonna keep my studio lights on. I've got a light just above up here. I've also got a light off to the side and one a little bit further away off this side. I'm gonna keep those on. Normally in these tests, you see people turn their lights off. And I think that isn't a realistic test. I wanna see how this monitor performs in sort of normal use case scenario. So uh, just before I show you this plugged in, I just wanna show you the inside of the case a little bit. It's not felt, it's still rubberized, but I think that's a good choice purely because it's more grippy for when you're using the case as a stand. So let's get this connected and see how it looks. So I've now got this connected as a secondary display to my laptop, and you can see it actually displaying a little picture of the actual monitor. And this is what the stand looks like. So if you were using the case as a stand, you can get it up into this sort of angle. It's a really good case that they've supplied with this. Let's have a look at a few other pictures. So I've got this one here. Again, a nice amount of detail. This looks really great. Very pleased with the detail that it's showing in the photos. And also this, the color accuracy. What I'm expecting to see in the photo is also super, super accurate. So this IPS panel really is very good. Even off axis, the color shift is practically 
not there at all. It's really good looking at off axis uh, colors on here. There's a little tiny bit of color shift, but nothing really that bad. Now I wanna show you the on-screen menus. So if I push the little rocker switch in, the on-screen menu comes up. I can use the little button just above it to exit out. But in the on-screen display, we can change the brightness, black level, contrast. We've got some aspect ratio settings, red, green, and blue color temperatures. We've also got some on-screen display timer, a reset, an HDR mode, and then some information and volume controls. And you can see here it's 2560 by 1600, 120 hertz. That is really very, very impressive. And I'll just show you that menu up a little bit closer, just so you get to see the layout. It's really nicely laid out, absolutely fantastic. I really do like the way they've done the menu system. So overall, this display is absolutely superb. I'm really impressed with it. The actual quality is really good. I've got very uh, good viewing angles on here as well and great color accuracy, all in a 16 inch high res portable panel. I think that you perfect have done a brilliant job with this and as such, I can highly recommend it. If you wanna pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. If you enjoyed my video, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.